Hey everybody, just want to uh, watch this uh, quick little video of Justin Trudeau basically showing how delusional he is. So let's get into it and then we'll talk about it a little bit after. Our macro situation is really, really good. Obviously, our economy is trash. Taxes are constantly going up. That's just more and more money out of our pocket. Takes away from our kids, takes away from everything. Gas, groceries, bills, like just everything goes up and up. Whatever, whatever fits the budget is whatever I'm eating for the day. It's not even cheap to stay at home anymore. Every time that I go to the grocery store, I'm shocked about the food prices. People are working more hours. They're not necessarily getting paid more, and their money is worth less. So it's like you're doing more effort, but it's like you're burning more fumes. I was just looking on Craigslist today, and a two-bedroom place is like $2,800. How am I supposed to afford that? I feel like I've been priced out, like I'm stuck in my apartment. I can't move out anymore. Our macro situation is really, really good. But then the question becomes, what do we do with that best fiscal position in the world right now? I, I mean, is it even possible to be more delusional than that? What do we do with the best fiscal situation? How much is our national debt? It's it's getting close to five trillion, isn't it? It's definitely in the four trillion mark. What is this idiot talking about? What do we do with the best fiscal opportunity? Well, even if that were true and we were in a good spot, maybe you could get some affordable housing so that people don't have to pay twenty eight hundred dollars for a two bedroom apartment. I don't know which city this is in. One of the one of the, one of the guys said it was twenty eight hundred, but it, it, you can see that in. All, all across southern Ontario and probably in other provinces too. I mean, it, it's just, it's, it's insane. And I, again, I don't believe that he's stupid enough to actually believe it. He's just trying to continue to trick Canadians into voting for him. He's, I mean, to be fair to him, it's he's done a pretty good job of that. And there are still, what, 24, 25% of uh, people in the polls who are saying they're still going to vote for Trudeau. Yeah, okay. And that's not going to be enough to for him to win, but it's still just insane to me how people will you'll know, see the situation that they're in that was caused by this asshole, and they're still going to be like, "Well, I just think Pierre Polyev's a jerk, and he's a meanie head, so I'm going to vote for Trudeau." <laughs> yeah, it's just it, it just angers me thinking about it because it's well, I mean it's it's funny but angering at the same time, right? Like it's just. It's, it's crazy to me. And then you hear him talk like this when there's so many financial issues going on for the average Canadian. Not to mention there's all these rumors down in the States about how banks are starting to crash. Some of them I think already have. That's going to probably affect our, our financial system too. So now a lot of people are worried about our financial systems. Are they stable? I have a feeling, considering that liberals are so horrible financially, it's probably not very stable. Now, if any of you know more about, like, you know, the bank situation here in Canada, definitely let me know in the comment section. I'm definitely going to do some more research about that, and be, I'll be talking about when I do uh, my next live stream, which will either be sometime tonight or tomorrow. Um, but, yeah, it's just, it's completely, like, just delusional. Delusional is the only word. Like, you, you, he's not being stupid. He knows what he's doing. He's being evil. But at the same time, it's just, he... The way he speaks, he comes off as this delusional douchebag, and his supporters are also delusional. What are you going to do? I mean, all we can do is just wait until the next election and make sure that we get him the fuck out of here as quickly as possible.